Hello and welcome to the beginning of my vlog for my trip to Kentucky. I'm currently in Connecticut. It's 5 a.m. I'm leaving my house now to head to the barn to pick up moose. No stop at Dunkin' Donuts on my way. Hopefully by the time I get there, uh, the sun will be starting to come up a little bit and it won't be so dark. actually our second day at the makeover. It is Tuesday and I had taken Moose for a walk around in the morning on Tuesday. He was a little uncharacteristically looky, which is probably because I later found out he has Lyme disease while we're at the makeover. Um, so I decided to take him out and lunge him, but when I brought him into the lunging pad, it was really busy um, and I pretty quickly realized that having him in there with all of those other horses lunging was having the opposite of desired effect and he was getting a little bit more worked up rather than settling in. So I went ahead and made the decision to jump straight on and skip the lunge, which uh, I'm glad I did. He's always been really quiet in a busy warm up area. And so once I got on, he really settled right in and went right to work. Um, I was hoping to do a FaceTime with my trainer and have her kind of watch my ride, but the Wi-Fi surprise, surprise, wasn't strong enough in the Rolex. Uh, so I ended up using my C coaches that I had brought to try to talk to my trainer through the iPad just to talk to my friend Janie, uh, which was surprisingly effective at getting me to settle in and actually do all of the right things to get Moose to settle in as well. So now this is Wednesday the third day of the competition for us and I was competing on Thursday. So this is my second day schooling. Uh, with the ticketed schooling you start in this warm-up that's open schooling and then you move down into the Rolex which is only available for ticketed schooling at certain times. Um, and so I had Moose going around up here. I was a lot more confident this day because he had just been so well behaved the day before. Uh, and I figured out kind of the pattern that he needed, which was a long hand walk and no lunge. Uh, so he starts out up in the warm up. He's really good. Uh, then Janie leads us down into the Rolex for our ticketed schooling time. And I think just because the weather had changed and Something just didn't feel right with him that day. He was a lot more tense. Um, and so our ticketed schooling was fine, right? I never felt like Moose was misbehaving or being naughty. He just didn't feel as relaxed and confident as he had the day before. Um, the day before, actually, I felt like he was throwing his haunches in. And so I was really prepared to kind of ride him like shoulder four to kind of <laughs> compensate for that. Uh, but of course, this second day, he didn't ride the same at all. Um, and so I kind of had to switch gears from trying to correct the haunches in from the day before to instead trying to just get him to think like long and low and have a settled frame of mind. So now it's Thursday. I had just finished cleaning Moose's stall. And if he approves of my job, he always gives it a roll. Um, so after this quality check, I decided to take him for a little walk up by the Rolex uh, to graze him on the demo side of the ring because that's where he seemed to be the most anxious. And I was hoping he would have some happy thoughts and settle his anxiety. And then to settle my own show nerves, we were going in the afternoon and so in the morning I went down and I watched some of the freestyles. It was just really cool to see all of the awesome and kind of weird things that people had trained their thoroughbreds to do. There was jousting, someone was riding blindfolded, a lot of people were doing bridalists, and um, Lindsay Partridge rode out behind her horse in a wagon which I thought was really cute. So it was definitely a good way to distract myself and settle my own nerves. 
So Janie's giving me a lead over to the warm-up area for the Rolex. I had her kind of lead Moose everywhere because early on in the week he wasn't super settled and it's just in his best interest to never get worked up um, because once he gets anxious it's a lot harder to settle him down. So we used her as kind of his uh, emotional support human. And then here I am giving Moose his warm up. He settled in really quickly. I felt like he was ready to go into the ring almost immediately. Um, and then when I got him down there and brought him into the ring, he was feeling a lot more settled. Um, so I have the full video of this ride uploaded to my channel that you can watch, but Moose did really well here. He ended up scoring his best score to date uh, for a 70.172, I think. Um, it was just a really consistent test and I was really happy with him and um, all the work I'd done for settling him seemed to really pay off, which was awesome. So you can see after our ride, I was just so happy with him. I didn't know our score yet, but I could just tell he was trying really hard. He was really settled. Um, I was really proud of him. So before our training two ride, we'd had almost too much time outside of the ring to warm up. And um, I was <laughs> tired by the time we went in. Um, but for our second ride, our demo ride, I had the opposite problem. Um, Moose and I had just kind of stood there between our training two ride and our demo ride, and I think Moose thought the day was over. Um, as you can see, he's not really connected in either one of the reins. He's either counterflexed or just not there at all. He was above the bit a lot of the time. We picked up the wrong lead in both canners. It was just not his best ride, which is funny, coming right after what was probably his best ride. Um, but I think, you know, by the end, he really settled in. Um, and I can't complain. He, I think he really was just tired. It's a long week for him. So, um, yeah, this is how we finished out. We got a 37 for our demo ride and a 70 for uh, training two. So I was really happy with him.